<sighs> okay, so today we're waiting. Why are we waiting? I'm waiting for my new toy to arrive. Today I'm waiting for the UPS guy to knock on the door and say, here is your. So this is the G5X, it's the camera I decided to go with, check it out, quite cool, quite nifty, look how small it is, fits into your hand perfectly, and it's great for those vlogging kind of shots. Now I chose to go with this particular camera for a couple of reasons, the first one being the screen. It flips up to the side, the 7X flips up onto the top, but this particular one splits out to the sides, different angles, and when you want to shoot your vlog kind of videos, face it forward, make sure you can focus, and then looking at the lens, you keep on going. Now that's the one reason, and the other reason is the image stabilization, because a lot of the times you'll do impromptu, kind of shoot and go, and you're holding it, or you don't have time for a tripod, or one of those kind of gorilla things, but you just want the image to be stable and not shaky. This has got a great stabilization, I'm looking forward to testing it out. Now, before we can get going, you gotta do this. This is the battery, you've got to charge it. And one thing that, you know, we all want to get going with our devices when we get them, but the first thing I would say to you is let the first charge be a full charge. Leave it for as long as possible, to charge the battery to full, because from that point, it's just going to get less and less and less. Now, it's a bit controversial, some people say it doesn't, some people say it's already pre-charged in the factory. In my experience, I like to give a good charge, it gives you time to read, the manual because on these cameras you really want to get to know every little feature so I've got some reading to do. I'll let you know how the camera works out. Just a quick one before I go here's a quick shout out to Ted Forbes from The Art of Photography. He's got some really cool stuff on photography, YouTube channels going really well and basically it was his practical advice that led me to buy the Canon G5X so Canon you can thank him as well. Um, basically Ted takes beyond just specs because these specs you can read anywhere but he makes it really really practical to the point where he advised to get these little guys. Basically these are wind jammers, the little furry gaggers that you put on top of your microphone, be it on a mobile phone or a DSLR or a point and shoot and reduces that kind of wind noise that you hear when you're shooting outdoors. Even a little bit of wind can really destroy your audio on this. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw, leave us some comments below, and we'll see you at the next episode.